So uh, I'm Beej. I've been programming for maybe nine or ten years. Uh, before that, just playing with computers through video games mostly. Now I'm working at PUBG as kind of a service developer. It's fun. It's good. Uh, my first job was just at a career fair out of college, just sending my resume everywhere. And I got into a cell phone insurance company. Not the most glorious job, uh, and it wasn't a software engineering job. I was a technical analyst, and it was my responsibility to install third-party software for monitoring our infrastructure. Basically just making sure our servers don't explode. So I did, I did just start here, um, but I've been working on a little bit on data pipelines making sure that the data we get from and about the game and about things outside of the game but related to it, how we collect that data, put it in one spot so that we can analyze it, gain meaning from it, and use that information to better improve the game. Uh, additionally, uh, I work on services that support the game, so I don't work on the game itself. Mm, as you can see here, we have a pretty sweet cafeteria. Um, the culture is definitely not like other Korean companies. I definitely feel like I can voice my concerns, um, even to HR. I've had some feedback and they've come and talked to me about it and I'm like, okay, cool, we understand. We disagree with this part, agree with this part, we'll act accordingly and it just, it feels good. Part of programming is the industry changes so quickly, it's often difficult to keep up with what's happening. It's important to have some source of information. Some people will track it on websites, but that doesn't really give you an understanding of more specifics, right? Companies aren't going to tell you, oh, we did this specific thing, right? Because, you know, that's private information. But if you participate in social technology events, you can uh, interact with other tech people directly and understand, oh, they're using this tool, this is what they like about it, this is what they don't like about it. And also, it's just a great way to educate yourself on technology in general. When I started attending Community Hack Nights in uh, Los Angeles, the, my knowledge just grew at a crazy rate. I learned a lot just from those guys like Sam and Devin. The best part is creating things. You have this giant toolbox of skills, of technology, so different languages, different libraries, different frameworks, and it's up to you to have some creativity around which combination of these things will best help you achieve those goals. That is really, really satisfying. When you figure out just the right combination of things and you lay everything out and it just, it just works. It feels like a well-polished machine. Uh, the worst part is uh, how punishing it can be. It's very rare that you'll ever get something to work the first time. Uh, and if you do, you're like, wait a second, something, something's wrong here. So one, one of the things I tell people when they're starting out is that one of the most important skills you'll learn from programming is resilience. Is being able to, when something breaks or it doesn't work, just taking that hit and then just getting up and trying again. And you just keep trying and trying and eventually you get it. And you end up building that resilience and you end up learning that to treat failure as a learning experience rather than as kind of a personal hit. Start doing it. There's lots of online tutorials, there's lots of communities, and there's lots of online resources. You have Code Academy, Coursera, Khan Academy. Everything's there, you just need to start doing it. Start, decide on a project you want to make, figure out what you need to learn to build that project, and just get going. Do the job you want to have. Just right. do it! <laughs>